Hello and welcome to the Taxtron YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll guide you through the process of electronically submitting a corporate tax return to the Canada Revenue Agency using the professional version of Taxtron software. Please note that certain forms must be submitted separately and are not included in the CRA e-file transmission. These include Alberta Corporate Tax Return AT1, SER89, SERT2054, Form T1135, Foreign Income Verification, SER, Underused Housing Tax. We'll walk you through how to submit these separately after completing the CRA filing. Let's begin with how to send the tax return to the CRA. Before jumping into the practical steps, ensure that the professional profile is completed. You can do this by navigating to Tools, Preferences, Prepare, and filling in the required details. Once your setup is complete, you can proceed with preparing and submitting the tax return. Whether you're using the Mac or Windows version of the software, the process remains the same. First, you need to open the Taxtron software and load the corporate return you want to file, and then click on Transmission in the top left menu. And at the end, select the Transmit CF from the available options. This will open a diagnostic window, which shows any errors, warnings, or informational messages related to your return. Errors, in red, must be resolved before you can proceed. Click on each error, then use the Explore button to correct the data entry. As you can see, there is position error, so we enter CEO, and then your error has been clear. Cautions and information messages can typically be ignored unless relevant to your filing. Once all errors are cleared, close the diagnostic window. A dialog box will appear, confirming that your return is ready to be transmitted. Click Yes to continue. Next, you'll see a prompt. Your tax return has been generated to send to CRA. Do you want to send it now? After that, you can click Yes, then review and accept the terms and conditions. If your return is successfully accepted by CRA, you will receive a confirmation number on the next screen. If it is rejected, review the reason for rejection, correct the necessary fields, and follow the same process to resubmit. Now let's go over how to submit the Alberta corporate tax return. Note, it's not mandatory to everyone to submit the return to Alberta because it's only important for Alberta corporations. Now, go to Transmission again and select AT1 Net File. Just like with the CRA filing, a diagnostic check will run. Make sure to fix all red errors before continuing. Once everything is cleared, you'll receive a prompt. AT1 Net File has been generated. Do you want to transmit it now? Then you can click Yes. On the next screen, Tick the checkbox to confirm you've read and agreed to the declaration. Click Submit Return. You'll then receive a confirmation message with a submission number for your Alberta return. You can follow a similar process to file the following forms if applicable. SE89, SERT2054, Form T1135SER, UHT. Each of these must be submitted separately using the same diagnostic and transmission process. That wraps up today's tutorial. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more guides and tips. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.